everybody. It's another crazy commentary from the Crazy Spartan. And today, I got a lot of stuff I want to talk about. And hopefully, you guys are going to be sticking around and listening. And the gameplay you are seeing in the background is just me goofing around in some Halo Reach Forge. Now, I haven't played in Halo Reach uh, Forge for a long time. This is actually where I really began to get an interest in Forge and making maps. Though, I loved Forge maps from Halo 3. Um just you, Halo 3 was just terrible I'm sorry for you guys that, that could forge in there um, my hats off to you because man that is a difficult task forging in Halo 3 uh, but in Halo Reach I started forging and I made some maps and um, uh, by my standards now they were they were not good they were not good at all um, I would love to have been able to show them to you uh, just to show you how bad they were uh, but unfortunately I deleted them so uh, but that is not the main subject I want to talk about today because Forge I am excited about Halo 5 Forge uh, trust me I am um, everything I've read on it everything a uh, uh, little bit of video I've seen on it um, everything is is dang near exactly what all of us uh, forgers have been wanting now there's probably going to be some things that just are not going to be possible which is understandable um, but from the vast majority of it uh, yeah yeah I am very very excited about it now let me just say there are a couple things I did wanted to say about it <clears throat> now there is three forge canvases to start off with I say that to start off with because they make a statement that Forge is going to be a free service. Now what does free service mean to me? That means they're going to be constantly coming out with different items, different uh, little maybe maps. I'm hoping because we got some really good ones. We have the Alpine which is um, just kind of like uh, uh, the, it's, it's the one we played in the beta. Uh, Orion and Pegasus, that's the one we were playing in the beta. It's got the rocks and the beach and whatnot and so forth. And then we finally, finally get a, a snow map to play on. And I cannot wait to play in that. Because snow maps are easily like one of my favorite maps of all time. So, there is that. And then we have a space map, which is basically called Space. Space. The final frontier. Maybe. Anyways, that is just kind of like a, an open space. There's nothing else to it. Uh, you have some different backgrounds you can use. Uh, there's like one with a, a planet and there's another one with the um, halo ring. So yeah, the, each each map also has a different theme, uh, more or less. There's like, I, I can't remember exactly what they said, like either two or three different themes uh, per map. But being that it Forge is a service, um, I could see a couple more maps. And the things that I would like to see is I would love to see another desert map come along. So you guys can make um, something like Sand Trap if you want to remake Sand Trap. Or uh, Sandbox from Halo 3, which was easily actually one of my favorite maps of all time. Besides it being a Forge map and so many Forge maps were created on it. But I could see those maps being created, of course, being created much, much larger, which would be amazing. Um, I would love to have that. But that is Halo 5 Forge. And trust me, guys, I am excited. Even though I have to wait till December to get it, I would rather wait until then and, and then get um, and get a working, working uh, forge. Um, I, I'm, I'm more than willing to wait for that. I mean, I can't tell you. I'd rather do that because we have MCC. MCC is is functional for the most part, but considering the launch day, it wasn't. And we all know it wasn't, and that's just so frustrating. I don't want that anymore. I'd rather say games delayed and stuff so we can get what we want to get uh, and have it work day one. Uh, even if Halo 5, if Halo 5 wasn't ready, I, I said more than once in them surveys, I said, if it's not ready, don't release it. Delay it. 
you don't need another broken uh, game to be released. But anyways, that's all on that side of the story. But today, I actually did want to cover one more thing here. is the MCC update. Uh, because honestly, that's not going to be covered by any of your major news channels. Um, because, you know, whatever. We got Halo 5 on Horizon, but I'm, I still got two weeks. We still got two weeks until Halo 5 launches, and what am I going to do for two weeks? I play Destiny, but I can only play Destiny for so long before I start going to, uh, I'm going to go take a nap. Um, but yeah, uh, so let's go ahead and talk about the Master Chief Collection, because I don't want you guys to be caught unawares if you are playing it still all the way up until Halo 5, or you have to wait till Christmas, whatever the case may be. Um, so, I do want you guys to have this awareness to you. Now, they are going to hit quitters, betrayals, and idling pretty hard, actually, here. Um, so, be aware of this. Um, they are finally getting an update. It's going to be coming out. It went into certification. It's going to be coming out sometime this week. And we are going to be hitting quits and betrayals and idling. Um, from what I understand here, uh, leaving the game before finishing any time from the start of voting until the game concludes will result in a loss of your ranking and penalty to your Xbox One reputation. After this update, if you quit, betray, or idle too many times during a set period of time, you will be temporarily banned from playing matchmaking. If you continue engaging in negative behavior after temporary ban has lifted, you will continue to receive temporary bans that are uh, substantially or subsequently uh, longer in length. So be prepared. If you are a quitter or you like to just betray your teammates, um, be prepared to start receiving some bans in matchmaking. Um, Players will now receive a quit penalty and rank penalty for quitting any time after matchmaking voting begins in all matchmaking playlists, both ranked and unranked. Okay, so it doesn't matter which which kind you're you're in. Um, betrayal booting has been yet being added to Halo Combat Evolved. Uh, matchmaking voting now randomizes winner in the case of a tie rather than selecting the leftmost option. So if you have uh, the two, you have the center and the left, uh, and you get a tie. Um, it's just going to pick one of the two, and which is awesome. Which is awesome. I've wanted that forever. I'd rather it be that way than that leftmost option or the topmost option in Halo Reach the way they did back then. So really happy about that. <clears throat> okay, made a variety of improvements to ranking. Um, for those that still care about their ranks in MCC. <clears throat> Fixed an issue that could result in ranking down after winning a match. Go figure, huh? Um, let's see, I want to do a couple other ones that I know. Um, the level of menu music will now drop when other players join the lobby and are connected to other players. All right, and here's the big one that I've actually been really wanting to have because I cannot play matchmaking. They're fixed in uh, a variety of fixes uh, of players uh, that who would become at stuck at the downloading latest data screen, which is I have. I have deleted the games at least three times, re-downloaded. When I say re-downloaded, that is through the internet with my crappy internet, so that takes about two days for me. Um, so yeah. That is a big one because I want to play Halo uh, before um, Halo 5 launches and unfortunately I cannot at this time. So hopefully by the time I actually have a day off here I, that will be implemented and I can finally play some Halo again. Uh, maybe have a, a last hurrah game night or something uh, before um, Halo 5 uh, does, uh, does launch. Um, and that is like the biggest things here that, of course, they improved uh, some compatibility issues and some stability improvements, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So, yes, MCC does have a content update uh, coming. They have not forgotten about it. So just be aware of that. Um, 
But that is about it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, and hopefully it was informative and you got something out of this. Um, Halo 5 is on the way. I'm super excited for a campaign and I can't wait till Forge and I'm definitely willing to wait till December. So you guys have fun. We'll see you online. This is the Cray Spartan and I am out of here.